motherfucking life lock. What's happening? What up, what up, what up, what up? Salam Lincoln, brother. Well, Lincoln, Salam, brother. What up? <coughs> what's good? What's good? Lupus Awareness, what's good? Man, Wack is a fucking homosexual, bro. Period, point blank. Y'all niggas can't see that? Nigga, Wack's a fucking gay dude. And I ain't got nothing against, you know, gay people. But he one of them. I don't got nothing against motherfucking gay dudes. You feel me? But Wack 100 is one of them. Period, point blank. That nigga's a faggot. Straight up. Any nigga that fuck with Wack is a faggot. That nigga goes out his way to do faggot shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, don't ask me about that faggot ass nigga this early in the morning. Niggas a faggot. Make sure y'all go check out Gonzo TV. Go go to YouTube, search Gonzo TV, man. Get a bar <coughs> of how it really happened. Approaching on 100,000 views in a month. No shenanigans, no motherfucking... Paying YouTube, none of that shit. Just straight up grind, nigga. You feel me? Top of the morning. My nigga McAfee, nigga. What's macking? My nigga been macking since high school. It's been macking since high school. What's that? What's that? Real recognize the real, my nigga. Fake motherfuckers still doing what they can. <coughs> <coughs> On some hang around shit. Still trying to figure out how to touch some of this motherfucking paper. <laughs> Tell him, McAfee. Maxolutely, nigga. How about that? Hey, McAfee, I be telling these niggas, man. I told them years and years and years ago when I bought the motherfucking penthouse cross from the Staples Center. I told them, you motherfuckers keep chasing the wrong dream. You keep sleeping on me, you're going to wake up working for me, nigga. How about that? Now look at him. Poof. I'm gone. Niggas are... Where he at? Niggas somewhere counting some paper. Some yaper around this bitch. Doing something that a real nigga would love to do. You did Every day. Check this out, though. Whack 100. He just don't know it. It's a time and a place for everything, cuz... <laughs> and now, you know, you noticed that all the homies, we, uh, niggas, niggas is at a space to where we could at least talk. And if we had a space where I, I could at least talk and we cordial with all me, me and my niggas, get me in the room with me and all my niggas. Watch this, nigga. Watch how the ties turn. It's going to go from everybody wasn't paying attention to this nigga. Now all focus is about to be on this nigga. Because now I got everybody ear again, cuz. And I'm I'm Pat Riley around this bitch. You feel me? Especially when it comes to cleaning up a problem. It's about to be all eyes on you, nigga. It's about to be all eyes on you since you want to keep posting pictures about Pac. You feel like... Niggas ain't paying attention to you, so you want to go on another raid, uh, 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 another uh, 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 rant in a rave. Nah, nigga, all lies finna be on you now because niggas is tired of beefing with each other. You feel me? And you notice all us is homies, my nigga. Not one motherfucking blow was thrown. Niggas is just talking shit to each other like we always do. But now, I feel like all that talking shit. It's been a had niggas checking they nuts. Because I'm damn sure not letting up. I'm damn sure finna keep the same motherfucking energy. You feel me? And 
if it's not fa fuck whack 100, then don't fuck with Gonzo, nigga. And all my, I'm gonna say it again, bro. If you fuck with me, then you fuck with me. You know what I mean? We getting back on and taking on my enemy. I mean, and this is some shit that Pac said. Nigga, my enemy is your enemy. Your enemy is my enemy. Remember that? We getting back on that. And if a nigga could wake up in the morning and think that they could post a picture about Pac and, and insinuate that he was homosexual, bisexual, or anything other than heterosexual, that's a problem. We all got to be on this nigga head as one. You feel me? Any nigga that's claiming that they friends with the nigga. We, it has to be, it got to be like that. You know what I'm saying? It can't be no more motherfucking high roads, my nigga. You feel me? It has to be some order around this motherfucker. And disrespecting the legend, it can't be one, that can't be something that just, niggas just be like, oh, okay, fuck it, I'm. I got some other shit to do today, or oh, I got to go take my kids to school, or, you know, do all of that, and then come back and address the fucking issue of this nigga is constantly, for years, you feel me, on some bullshit. Man, stop fucking, hey, bruh, even, I'm, I'm going to say this on everything, you can't even, even if a nigga's a diva, Bro, them niggas is trying to get a name off of me. Niggas that you saying is a diva and what's up with ain't never had $10,000 at one time. Ain't never sold 10,000 records. Niggas just be on their Obama phone sitting in a, a, a fucking car that they bought from the auction somewhere with no money in their pocket. Can't even pay their motherfucking child support. Got to quit jobs because a nigga can't pay their child support. Bro, you can't ask me about no nigga like that. Ask me about somebody that's going to help my career. These niggas is trying to link their name to me to help their career. Who the fuck is these guys that you talking about, my nigga? Who the fuck is these guys, my nigga? Like, get out of here. Don't try to pump your homie up on the slide like, what's up with Wooty Woop Woop Woop? Woopty Woopty Woop ain't never had a record deal. Woopty Woopty Woop ain't never been on the radio. Woopty Woopty Woop. Only shot motherfucking videos, nigga, with, with a, a Super 8 camera or some bullshit, nigga. I mean, come on, my nigga. I know you want your niggas to get on. I know you want, the nigga want me so bad to say his name, but he's just not relevant. Niggas ain't relevant. You ain't helping me. And niggas ain't no killers. You told on your own mama. The nigga you talking about told on his own mother, my nigga. But I don't want to get into that because the nigga's not relevant. You talking about niggas who I passed a few blunts to. Here, nigga, you can smoke. And the nigga think that that sort of relationship you supposed to entitle your life to help them out. Nigga, you suck. You can't rap. If you could rap, somebody would have been put you on as much as your ass been hanging around for years. Oh, and this is another thing. All you niggas that's been hanging around the game for years... And ain't on, but everybody homie, oh, that's my homie, cuz, that's the homie, and always got something to say, go sit your ass down somewhere, cuz obviously, nobody's interested in your music, so stop having so much of a fucking opinion on who's real, who's not, who gives a fuck what you think, you ain't relevant, you just know everybody, remember, take your ass to work, that's your job, you go work for somebody else. Don't talk about who real, who not. Talk about how much you don't like your supervisor, motherfucker. Talk about how much you don't like the foreman on your job. Talk about how much you need a fucking raise around this bitch. But you ain't never seen me broadcasting live from a desk or somewhere that another motherfucker paying me to show up. Bitch, I'm the boss. So don't talk to me about nobody who ain't a motherfucking boss, my nigga. Because it's always a nigga that's on their way to work, hopping out a nigga passenger seat, talking about who video shoot they at, trying to selfie they shit on stage with another motherfucker. It's you motherfuckers with the opinions, cuz. It don't never be the nigga that could actually get punched in his mouth that's in the booth talking. Nah, it ain't none of them. It's the nigga that's around that's trying to get some... Nigga, go sit your weak ass down, you bitch ass nigga, before we drop you back off at your auntie house. That's the type of... I'm, you know what? 
And this is another thing, too. Some of the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest niggas in America come off the motherfucking prison yard, take their shirt off, and want a motherfucker to look at them. Nigga, get your head right. You ain't fearing nothing. Of, man, listen. I used to love to see a big brawly nigga fresh out of prison walking around the neighborhood like he hard pull up pull up pull up on a nigga pull a thing or rap nigga turn into a bitch immediately cuz nigga ain't seen a pistol and how you feel me get your mind right just out of shits and giggles all I'm saying is nigga it be a lot of you niggas that's trying to find a situation in a situation that ain't yours and having an opinion about it and be the main niggas keeping shit going all on three way. Cuz said this, cuz said that, cuz. Nigga, I know all you niggas and none of you niggas ain't never had no money. All you niggas always had to call a nigga when you was at the front door. Come get me. I'm at the front door. Nigga, pay to get in the show. Pay to get in the show. Pay to get in the show. The fuck? What? I mean, don't think that you supporting a nigga because you come and, and think that you getting in free. Want to be on the VIP list so you can feel like you a star too. That ain't support. I mean, you know, I just want to get back to the real shit. You feel me? Like, nigga, I like, when, I like the days when a nigga don't fuck with you, he don't fuck with you. Nigga going to let you know because I don't fuck with you. But now, not nowadays, nigga smile in your face, nigga be, you know, what I mean? do everything they can to be right next to you. I mean, when does that become whole shit? Like, how was niggas, I don't, man, I don't know, I can't remember a time, I remember the last time I was on another nigga program, and I was still on my program. I went to a Tech 9 show. <laughs> Few, you know what I mean, and you know beyond like being about to go on stage or going on tour or whatever, I don't ever go to other nigga shows. What for what, nigga? I don't go to no club if they not paying me for a walkthrough or paying me to get on stage for what, nigga? I don't want their bitch in there that took her motherfucking time to get dressed and. To go walk around a motherfucking club. Bitch, you know how much money you could be making? You walking around in a circle buying motherfucking $23 bottles for $80, $80 $200 bot. Bitch, I don't even want a bitch who mind frame is in that. You feel me? That bitch, she cute, but she's still lost. You got some years to go, bitch. And that shit fucks the money off. It's like a lot of shit just, you know, like a lot of these niggas who, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like all this shit could have been avoided, and it will be avoided, nigga. It will be avoided in terms of niggas will be held accountable, because if I ever get into a room with a nigga, you feel me, and then the nigga got some slick shit to say about me or to me, I'm like, man, hold that aggression. Hold that same energy, nigga. Let's go find WAC 100 and all his niggas. And, and, and get busy, you feel me, don't just leave me out here by my motherfucking self, you know what I mean, leave a nigga out here by his motherfucking self, because a nigga want to go to Rolling Loud, because a nigga want to go, you know, to the fest the smoke festivals, and like, nigga, I don't know who be there, nigga, I be by myself, nigga, Man, Wax a fucking homosexual, period. His son's a homosexual. His mama's a homosexual. Fuck his dead brother, too, nigga. Fuck your dead brother, nigga. I can't. If I ever find out where that nigga grave is, nigga, I'm going to make it a point to every motherfucking bottle of Remy or Hennessy I drink, nigga. I'm going to hold that shit to piss right over that faggot-ass nigga grave, nigga, on anything. Fuck you, bitch. Now, and here's another thing, nigga. I notice a lot of niggas... Who you niggas, you scary as a motherfuckers calling me on the phone. Oh, man, you, you should chill out, man. Bitch ass nigga, don't get money with me then, you faggot ass nigga. You niggas scared to get money and stand up for yourself? Because I ain't said nothing out of my mouth that was wrong, nigga. And anytime I'm right, I'm moving forward, nigga. I don't give a fuck what happens. I got to move forward when I'm right. 
You niggas is scared to move forward knowing that you right, still holding your tongue, and that's what burns me. That's what, you know, you know, I, I feel like, because I already know what he about. That nigga's two feet tall. Nigga's a midget, feel me? And no disrespect to the little people, because it's a midget. You know what I'm saying? And all you niggas is scared of a midget and a lie. Period, nigga. You, you, you niggas let this nigga... Ruin motherfucking blue face career. Knowing goddamn well that, that they were signing that nigga for a fucking tax write-off. And, you know, like, all this sort of shit. Who made WAC 100 a music executive? That's what I want to know. Who made that nigga a music executive? But here's another thing, though, too. And this on everything. That nigga WAC 100... It's a bitch. It's a smoker bitch in Pacoima right now, living under an alley. I'm not making this up. I hope all the blogs is recording this shit. Because after I say this shit, my nigga, G Principal, he gonna go find the bitch. He already told me he know exactly where the bitch at and everything. Did y'all know this nigga Wack 100? Since since you faggot motherfucker, you want to post pictures and, and act like some shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's. And I ain't told nobody about this, but now we gonna go into detail, nigga. What up, my nigga G, the loke, nigga? This nigga Wack 100 got mad at a smoker one time, cause. True story. Nigga was... Now, I'm going to try to get it close to where I can with, with the beginning details, but the the end details is 1,000% factual. <coughs> and the beginning, too. And if I got to blink my nigga G principal on right now, I'm pretty sure that nigga, if he watching, he going to click on. <laughs> nigga, whack... Got a preg uh, beat first off the nigga pistol whipped the fucking smoker, knocked all her teeth out her mouth with a gun. A smoker, a smoker, a lady, a smoker too, a lady, a smoker, a frail ass lady smoker, knocked her motherfucking teeth out her mouth, pistol whipped the bitch. Why did he do it? Because she said he had a small dick. Then he raped the bitch. Then he nutted in the bitch and got her pregnant. A smoker, my nigga. This is all documented. She's still alive. And, nigga, we gonna go find her under a bridge. The, the bitch living under a bridge right now in, Tuc in Pacoima. My nigga looking for the bitch right now. You feel me? We gonna find the bitch and get her on. This is what's gonna break the internet. See, he wanna play? You wanna play, bitch? Now I got a platform. We gonna play. You wanna play? We shall play. Je want play? We shall play. How it really happened? Yeah, I'm finna have a smoker bitch on the next. I don't know if it's the next episode because I got my nigga CJ Mack and also got my nigga Cocaine coming up and, and a few other niggas I got from the East Coast. But listen, the smoker bitch, yeah, he got the bitch pregnant. Yeah, she had an abortion though. Of course she did, you feel me? But I'm going to let her tell the story. Now, since this bitch-ass nigga want to post pictures, cuz, I wonder what he going to say when this bitch tell this story. Oh, Reggie Wright, I'm glad you on here. Tell that nigga whack 100, you better tell him. I found the smoker bitch that he got pregnant, that he knocked her teeth out and pistol whipped, and raped the bitch in the room for saying he had a small dick. Oh, I found the bitch, Reggie. You better call and give him a head start. Because I'm finna ruin this nigga. I'm finna have the bitch that he did that to. Smoker bitch. No teeth. Living under a bridge in Pacoima. Live on how it really happened, nigga. The exclusive. Since Wack 100 keep wanting to fuck with the nigga Pac Legacy like... Reggie, the nigga whacked your partner. Tell the nigga what you was around Pac. He think Pac was, was gay or bisexual. 
Who's giving this nigga this information? And how's this nigga not slapped in his motherfucking mouth? Already. I mean, is this some politics going on? I don't know about I'm just asking, bro. Because buttons need to be pushed around this motherfucker. But the humiliation game, oh, we shall play. I'm just gonna keep it 1,000, bro. I gotta, I gotta keep it 1,000. He never met Pac. That's what I'm saying, Rez. But this nigga's whole narrative is trying to say now his he woke up saying Pac is gay. Him and Money B was lovers or some shit. This nigga posting a picture, a digital underground. These niggas was kids on tour. Ain't no telling what the fuck was. I don't even know. But I know one thing though. The nigga was nowhere near gay, homosexual, you know, the nigga was a heterosexual, the nigga was a giant, my nigga, you feel me, somebody that's propelling our generation, and one nigga who ain't never done nothing, but, but, the nigga ain't never done nothing, go look at that nigga record, that nigga ain't no, that nigga ain't never tapped the scale around this motherfucker, that nigga ain't no motherfucking like, that nigga, man, listen to me. A nigga respected around this motherfucker way beyond the rap game. That's why that nigga know. What I say, I wake up, have a bad day, nigga, and, and feel like I want to go to jail. Whack 100 would have been fucked off, nigga. The only reason that nigga head ain't smushed in the fucking dirt is because I already know I be locked up immediately. They looking. We know they looking. You feel me? So the the, the, the humiliation game, that's in effect. And when... Whatever random nigga catch you on the street, nigga, that's your fucking bad luck, nigga. Because you talk too much and you fucking with niggas' uh, uh, legacy. And, and Pac still got shooters, my nigga. Niggas is out here ain't there bitching. Nigga, I'm, you must don't know, my nigga. But I'm going to tell you like this. Since your wife's a motherfucking probation officer, you a motherfucking agent, your motherfucking self, you think niggas don't know, you agent, homosexual motherfucker, you understand me, niggas know who you fuck with, whack, niggas know that you, nigga, got a, 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 a honorary badge around this bitch, nigga, we street niggas, don't know street nigga that I know, fuck with you, nigga, don't know, not, don't know street nigga that's really with the shit, fuck with you, nigga, You's a bitch. You been exposed, nigga. Period. You better stay around some niggas that run with Soldier Boy, nigga. You better stay around some old weird ass niggas that run with some weird ass rapper niggas, nigga. Cause the first time a nigga that's really on board see you, you bitch ass nigga, we gonna have a party for you, nigga. On everything, I promise to God. All that shit that y'all thought that y'all done the 40 Glock with the pistols on him, with the camera on him, like y'all creating scenes around this bitch. Wait till we catch you, you faggot ass nigga. And we ain't even gonna monetize this shit. We gonna let everybody put it on their page and get money. <sighs> bitch ass nigga, you feel me? Because nigga, niggas can't go out their way to just hate on other niggas. You feel me? And that nigga's feeling unwanted right now, none of his fucking artists is doing shit, you fucking bitch, I knew it would take three months for them to give you what, two checks, and you out of here now, nigga, they ain't giving them niggas no more money, you niggas is about to shoot every video out your pocket, well, who the fuck is finna invest in that shit, numbers is shitty, and who the, let me calm down, cuz, first off, let me light this joint, let me put this blunt out, let me put this blood out. Blue face. Nigga, you want a real record deal? Come over here and fuck with Gonzo, nigga. We got a new situation over at Universal. Not none of that fake ass, I'm on cash money. But really, nigga running the E1 trying to put your shit out under, under his little shit. Nigga, I see that shit too. I don't see cash money logo nowhere on none of them niggas shits. You niggas want, listen to me, blue face. I re, I teach you how to rap, cuz. For real, I had you nice out here, nigga. I had you nice out here. More than just the aesthetics in the video, nigga. You can really go on motherfucking Sway in the morning fucking with me. Come fuck with Gonzo, you can go on Sway in the morning, nigga. Yeah, nigga. 
Any nigga that, that fuck with whack 100 that really want to get some paper, nigga, the ties is changing now, nigga. I really done it. The, the legends already stamped me. So now when they pass this check to a nigga, like, nigga, we ain't never turning off, nigga, because we real rappers. That's why Dr. Dre in the spot he is, nigga. And I'm calling this shit into existence, nigga. You feel me? We taking back over with stars, my nigga. Beyond the propaganda. Beyond you niggas faking and, you know, making a video crip walking and getting a record deal from it. That shit ain't valid no more. Nigga, where's your bars? Nigga, where's your bars? Who's producing the song? You niggas rapping the two-track beats, nigga. Fuck out of here. Ain't nobody been threatening whack for years, nigga. And, 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 and Devaster, it, it, I bet you you a nigga that hopes on a dream. Ain't nobody been threatening that, nigga. You feel me? Niggas been getting knocked down, you dumbass nigga. Whack is the fucking police, nigga. You feel me? Nigga gotta catch that nigga in the right situation and whoop his motherfucking ass in a public place. You feel me? Because that nigga's the fucking faggot police ass nigga. Trust me, nigga. That nigga's debriefing. You don't believe me, nigga. Find out yourself. I'm telling you what I know. Niggas don't fuck with that nigga. Only niggas fuck with him is the niggas who is willing to cooperate, nigga. All, only niggas fuck with him is niggas who willing to act, cooperate, nigga. And, you know what I'm saying? A nigga that's cut from the fucking cloth, you couldn't stand to even be around a nigga like that. Disrespecting a nigga like Tupac. What type of nigga, what, a, to answer me this. What type of nigga has an opinion like that? A real nigga that didn't like Pac? He would say, you know what? I seen the nigga at the club one time. The nigga knocked, knocked me for my bitch. You feel me? I wanted to knock the nigga head off, but the nigga music is tight. Like, how? Do, what type of nigga that's a heterosexual black man, any parts of, a, of, of the world, nigga, could disrespect Tupac and go out their way? I tell you what type of nigga. A nigga who's getting attention from it, like a bitch. You feel me? And the more attention that nigga get from it, the more that nigga's going to do it every time he's feeling lonely. Every time one of his artists, he, you know, the thing is, bro, it's funny how the industry is. Because I never would have thought that he would be able to even be taken seriously. But the in, it's, it's the entertainment industry. That's what I keep forgetting. Fucking entertainment industry. And niggas want to be entertained, my nigga. Niggas want niggas to act a motherfucking fool and... Did y'all ever hear this? These these niggas that I mean, savvy, savvy. He tight, he dope, but that other nigga trash. You feel me? And it ain't even his fault. He just a young nigga trying to get some money. The point is, I see through all that shit, and a nigga coming at Tupac with these type niggas. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. And in due time, nigga. You better not never go back to jail either. That's another thing. That's how I know that nigga the police too. Because there's no way in the world a nigga would even have an open opinion like that. Being a nigga who ain't never pushed no buttons on the main line. And have an opinion like that about Pac. And say you carry guns. Because if you carry guns, then it's a chance you will see the prison. You will see the yard again. Nigga, if you carry pistols, it's a chance that you will go back to jail again. And, and, and how in the fuck is that your tone? That's type of shit you keep to yourself. Nigga, if you amongst men, amongst men, you keep that to yourself. This the type of shit that you, 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 yeah, that you, that you tell a weenie ass nigga what I'm telling you, you bitch ass nigga. But amongst men, I keep my opinion to myself because I know my life is at, at, at stake. I know... Just like I kill a nigga, one of these niggas will kill me. So you keep your opinion to yourself until you're ready to make a move, nigga. But you, you talking too much. You feel me? That's how I know you the police. That's how I know you a faggot. That's how I know you was able to shoot a faggot out. That's how your son's a faggot. Faggots make faggots. Snitches, faggots. Nowhere in the world my wife could be a probation officer. And you say, but she make this money. M nigga, money is everywhere, nigga. It's the integrity. I said me, personally. Now, it's a lot of you niggas that'll lay down with a bitch that then took that oath. It's a lot of you niggas that'll trust a nigga that, that's on some police shit. 
Not me. I don't come from that type of family. I don't fuck with the police, period, point blank. Not they pussy, not they friendship, nothing, nigga. No bueno. Because I ain't no police. I'm the other nigga. You understand me? So just by this nigga having a bitch that he can lay down with, motherfuckers all in this family, all them motherfuckers is law and Nigga, go look in your motherfucking... Go, they all law enforcement, my nigga. Highway to money, man. What's happening, bro? I'll call you right back. My nigga Highway calling me. Niggas just got to stay solid, bro. And, and running around with a nigga like that and posing in pictures like that, I know goddamn well ain't a nigga around him solid. Because you couldn't be. You couldn't be. Like, what's the, what's the conversation in the car with weenie-ass niggas like that? Fuck that nigga. And any nigga that fuck with it, my nigga, and I'm taking a stance on that nigga for life, nigga. Fuck that nigga until that nigga... I mean, I don't even know what type of an apology that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because he already apologized like a bitch. He already put it on Pyru that he wouldn't say nothing about Pac no more. And here he go again. Like, where's all the Pyru niggas DMing? I don't understand. Like, I've seen this nigga put six things on Pyru and it didn't, like, what happened? I don't know. Like, I, I would have been thought that they would have had it. A, a issue with him constantly saying, like, what the fuck? My cousin, rest in peace. That nigga was a pyro. And I'm pretty sure, like, damn, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these niggas? Just putting shit on, on, on their mamas, they hood. And here's another thing. Just on some real man shit. Putting shit on your hood, that really don't mean shit to a nigga smart as me. None of that shit really means shit. When you say, nigga, I put that on my hood. I swear on my mama. That's on my kids. In actuality, you bitch-ass nigga, I'm not built to trust none of you niggas. So none of that terminology, ideology, none of that shit work. Everybody's a fucking liar. If it's a question, if it's ever a question, you did it. You got to hold that. If it's ever any janky shit that you got to explain for you did it, nigga. You got to hold that. That's coming out of your bag or coming out of your ass. And that's the, you know what I'm saying? It has to be straight across the board, my nigga. Man, shit. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want to hear no motherfucking, you, all that sort of shit is weenie shit. Nigga can't get no money with niggas like that. Constantly coming with excuses. Constantly, <coughs> excuse me. Got other niggas' names in their mouth that they never even met. This nigga ain't even, never even met Pop. That nigga put it on Pyru that he bet me $10,000 that I didn't have no songs with Pop. I ain't got my $10,000. He put that on Pyru. The nigga said I didn't know Tupac. That's, I mean, and it's a lot of you faggot ass niggas I ain't forgot that said I ain't no Pop. You feel me? A lot of you niggas owe me an apology, you feel me? Because you was running around listening to Instagram, listening to niggas who, you feel me, on your phone and like, oh, it must be true. Nah, nigga, they just got to your simple ass brain first. While we was really counting the money, you was looking at a nigga holding some fake money to the phone. Like, damn, this nigga own. No, nigga, that's why you're not on. Because you're not the nigga who knows authentic. uh, 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 authentic shit, genuine shit, from Fugazi shit. A lot of you niggas be thinking you fresh as a motherfucker in your heart, and I guess that's all it's really about. Not knowing ain't none of that Gucci shit you got on on the website. Ain't near motherfucking Gucci belt you bought in life been made from the cast of the of the designer that you can't pronounce that you thought you had on. But a nigga be feeling fresh. You tuck that shirt in, though, don't you? Nigga tuck that shirt in on him. Let him see that buckle. Yeah, come right downtown from the alley. Yeah, do. Yep, Alameda. Right downtown. But it's what you feel in your heart, though, because, you know, like I tell these niggas all the time, don't get comfortable just hanging around me, smelling some money, trying to take a selfie with no nigga. 
Don't don't get comfortable thinking that you nigga go get you some nigga. Stony macaroni. I don't know, man. I've always been a different type of nigga. And I feel like anybody that know me, it's a lot of you niggas don't here that know me. It's a lot of you niggas on here that know me, that know. I ain't never been no nigga that was just... I, I ain't never been interested in doing what everybody else is doing, you feel me? You feel me? I ain't never tried to fuck none of you. It's no nigga on here right now that can say that I tried to fuck your bitch. Now, it's a lot of you niggas that... Try to fuck bitches that you seen me with because you feel like, oh, I'm going to feel like this nigga. Or I'm fit. No, nigga, I'm different. I've been moving different since I was 12 years old, nigga. I've been getting money since I was 12 years old with no interest in uh, making you feel bad about it. Does that make sense? So with that being said, with no interest in making you feel bad about it, that means, nigga, I ain't never, I mean, I put rims on my car one time. Paid $4,000 for some rims one time back in like 98 and hated it. Like this shit, I'm getting pulled over every fucking two seconds to make my car ride fucked up. And the only person that gets to enjoy this shit is the person sitting on the bus stop. Like, damn, this nigga sitting fat. But nigga, I took them shits off. And it, it, it reminded me of something like, nigga... Enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you ain't even in the rims. You bought this shit because you want the motherfuckers to, like, nah, nigga, that ain't what we in this for. This shit is, we, we putting up everything. The dough is not for show, baby. You know what I'm saying? Now, sometimes a nigga might get sloppy and be drunk or something. And, you know what I mean? But in all actuality, I'm trying to get better, my nigga. I don't see none of these motherfucking white folks that really, 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 really got that dough showing it off and... These motherfuckers be, man, I got this one nigga, my nigga that own Arizona Ice Tea, right? You would never know it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember one time, I'm like, bro, I want to get this chain. I had just, I had just signed to this nigga's, uh, to Arizona Ice Tea, to their record label, Ilburn, and I wanted a chain. I was living down, I was living across the street from the Staples Center, right? What up, Reg? I got you, my nigga. Um, the nigga sent me, I think the nigga sent me three, I, no, I don't, a nigga sent me, I think he sent me like 10 bands in PayPal, and then he like FedExed me some cash, like another like 15 bands or some shit. All in all, in total, by the time he got through sending me money, it was like 52000 and I walked around the corner to the jewelry district, to the jeweler, Mosley. Everybody know Mosley in L.A. With $52,000 in my pocket, in the backpack, rather, walked around the corner. My little cousin happened to be in the area and called me on my phone. I told him what I was doing. That nigga came and scooped me up, took me to the jeweler, and bought these stupid-ass chains, right? I get on a motherfucking plane, fly to Miami, take the chain to him. One for me, one for him, one for AWACS. And this was like the first time I had actually been to the nigga house, met him. Well, Lincoln Salon, what up, brother? Peace. And when I got in there, this nigga's family, they worth like 700 million. Like, they damn near billionaires, nigga. We're talking about Arizona iced tea. I walk in the house, and it was like... I, I got it immediately. Like, nigga, you living like a nigga. You spending all your fucking money, all your money on external shit. External shit. Nigga, house is, is you know, everything from Ikea and errands. Motherfucker walking around with $30,000 worth of jewelry on. $14,000 Rolex. $4,000 in each ear. What? How are you still living in some shit that you don't own? Nigga don't own nothing. Still paying rent. $2,800 a month. Rent. Walking around with all this jewelry on. 
can't pull up in, I mean, the garage you pulling up in ain't yours. Because you just living externally, at least I was. I said, man, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. Nigga, I took the, the, the money I had. By the grace of God, thank you, Allah got uh, uh, custody of my son. Nigga, I was out of here. I said, man, you know what? I'm finna do this shit another way, nigga. Because I already see you niggas going to... If you ain't here, if you ain't getting what I'm saying, you one of the niggas that I see that's going to be going down the drain. You feel me? Like, you don't... I can't be a part of that. Motherfuckers ain't going to notice when every, when, the, when the water starts swirling. Motherfuckers ain't going to notice because everybody's going to be moving in the same fucking direction. Niggas ain't going to notice till you start passing the drain. Like, wait a minute. Oh, oh nigga, you out of here. But I, you out of here. Got to step away, my nigga. Reverse osmosis. Start moving in the opposite direction of these niggas if you want to survive. Because just being one of the homies and a, a, a part of the home, and, and you, I'll be there. I'll meet you on the block. Nigga, you ain't finna, you ain't gonna last long. You into the wrong shit, my man. Very few niggas that I know that's my age that was, you know, constantly into the bullshit and the bullshit excited them. Them niggas don't last long. Them niggas constantly coming out of jail. Them niggas constantly starting over. Them niggas constantly got a story. Them niggas constantly is the niggas who hating on other niggas because they can't get it right. You feel me? Like, nigga, leave that man name out your mouth. Constantly trying to fuck another nigga, bitch, like you gonna inherit, inherit another nigga happiness. Hating on another nigga like you gonna inherit his happiness because you hating on him. That shit is, you know, I, I had to alleviate all these type of people about my life, you know what I'm saying? Because me asking them to leave, it just attracted more of them. You know what I'm saying? Me getting mad, trying to fight them off, they going to fight back. And this shit is about survival, my nigga. We ain't saying that you're going to win every fight. It's a chance you might lose one of them fights to an ignorant-ass, nothing-ass nigga who had no shot of really winning, and he just took you off the chess, off the chess board, nigga. You know what I mean? I, I'm not willing to make that sacrifice, nigga. I know, I know my worth. You feel me? So a nigga gotta move accordingly for the win, my nigga. Cause we this close, my nigga. We this fucking close. We this fucking close. And I promise you, let me get back on to where I want to get back on, nigga. And it'll be a lot of real men eating again. Cause right now it's a lot of real men that ain't eating. You know what I'm saying? Cause the game is not built for us. You know what I'm saying? Niggas say that I'm saying something wrong for standing up for the homie. Like, when was it cool to let niggas disrespect your dead homie? I mean, what the f Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Was a song put out that was called Fuck the Dead Homies, We let, you, let, the, let the enemies disrespect them? Did I miss that hook? Because I wouldn't have never listened to that song, my nigga. Like, niggas, you know, and I feel like everybody thought that, oh, this nigga whack 100, he finna get on. So, for my pocket's sake, I'ma stand down just in case I could sign up Cash Money West. You niggas is all homosexuals, and I'ma say it out my mouth, nigga. That was the elephant in the room. All you niggas that put your pocket over your integrity and said, I'm, I ain't saying nothing, nigga. I might, he might pick me, he might like my mixtape. Fuck you and your mama, you faggot ass nigga. I never forget when you niggas stand down now. Business is business. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones, but nigga, if bullets was ever flying, I'm never, ever, ever, ever expecting niggas to pull that gun for me. Because I already seen how niggas, niggas hearts, you feel me? And it's crazy, you know, when, when how fake niggas be when you alive. How fake niggas be every time your birthday come around or the anniversary of Pac's death. <clears throat> something that they could get some more likes on this shit. Niggas go all in. The minute it's time to defend this nigga honor and integrity, <clears throat> niggas go silent. And that's something that openly I would ask my friends to stop like nigga. Stop. Each and every one of you niggas. We all got Instagram. You feel me? 
all the petty shit you niggas engage in every motherfucking day. Don't find it to take the high road when you see this bitch ass nigga. Take time out your day. You feel me? Because that shit ruins my day when I see shit like that. It fucks my day up when I have to. I don't want to talk about this shit, but I damn sure I have to. Who else going to do it? It should be thousands of motherfuckers. Because it was thousands of motherfuckers trying to be around him when he was alive. A lot of niggas that I know. But, you know, I, I if 6 9 moved to Los Angeles and was out of jail, it's a lot of you niggas that'll be painting your hair, too. It's a lot of you niggas that'll turn Treyway, too. And that ain't no no pun, to, no, no shun to the nigga Bosco. You feel me? <coughs> I'm just using that as an example. <coughs> And for all, all that don't know, nah, y'all niggas find out later. But nigga, it's time to get some real money. Stand up like men all around the board, my nigga. That's it. Everybody can eat. Everybody can eat. Nobody has to bow down at the next man's feet and say that they king. Nigga, we all kings. But the problem is when we turn the gestures and the problem is when, when, when niggas can see who the king is, is when you niggas is acting like bitches, not standing. I mean, and that's why it can't be no gray areas, my nigga. It can't be no gray areas. It can't be no excuses. And nigga come with an excuse. You holding that bag, nigga. You can't come with no excuse. Oh, this happened while I was responsible, but I have an excuse. So we all going to pay. No, nigga. You either took it or you lying. Either way, you paying for it. Out your bag or your ass. And I feel like we got to hold each other accountable like that all across the board, my nigga. All across the board. If you hear a nigga talking some whole ass shit around you and the nigga who he talking about ain't around you. Hold up, my nigga. Pardon me. Turn your back on that nigga. Walk off on that nigga, man. You ain't got to disrespect him, but let that nigga feel, nigga, I ain't with that whole shit. I mean, if this narrative was passed around, just like niggas say stop snitching, even though you niggas don't abide by that, every time niggas get in a motherfucking room by yourself with one of them crackers, niggas want to start telling what another nigga doing to get you up out the room. We know your kind. I'm just saying... It is a, a high percentage of niggas who will, you know, stay down if the narrative is passed up. Nigga, don't 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 pass the opportunity to walk away from a nigga if he on some whole shit. Don't pass the opportunity to stop a nigga when he talking King Kong shit when he only been around him and his bitch. You feel me? Don't don't either. Sometimes that's another thing. Sometimes you gotta stop a nigga, put a nigga, you know, let a nigga talk. And then put the brakes on the nigga. Hold up, cuz. This is what's really going on. While you over the... Nigga, cuz a motherfucker will have a false sense of security. A motherfucker will think that they're actually driving the car. Like, nigga, I own Audi, motherfucker. I just sold it. Now I just bought Ford. But, nigga, I've been a car owner. And motherfuckers who have never owned a car, only bus passes, they want to tell you how the car is built. They want to... Like, nigga, you ain't never drove a car, my nigga. So all I'm saying is, don't let a nigga over-talk they ass. Slow a nigga down while it's a snowball. Stomp the shit out while it's a snowball. Because when it becomes an avalanche, now we can't control it. Now we got an avalanche on our hands. Now the shit, you know, it it, it covers us. It, it, nigga, we buried in the avalanche. It covers us up. Now we got... All hands on deck. We got shovels out. Niggas is getting buried out. Some nigga, we could have stopped this shit and stomped it out with one motherfucking Chuck Taylor when there was a snowball. Hey, homie, kill all that bitch shit. But nah, nigga, let that shit go on and on and on and on and on. Now listen, these motherfucking white folks. They done took a shot at me, right? But really what they took a shot in is knowing that I'm not going to fucking fail. And guess what? These motherfuckers standing all the way back. I'm going to give them their motherfucking money back so motherfucking fast. You understand me? And all I want is distribution from that point. 
You feel me? And I'm telling them right now, motherfucker. You feel me? So the next time you come talking to me about anything, it better be some shit to where I can't even stop counting the zeros, nigga, for the next three minutes. Because I know what I'm worth 50 years from now. I know what I'm worth 80 years from now, 180 years from now. They'll still be playing caution. Our music will still be somewhere on the earth being streamed. This shit is forever. So when a nigga come to you talking about an advance and all that, nigga, how much your booty hole worth? Because that's what they really asking you. You want an advance? Here, go take this money. Take it to a jeweler. Take it to a used car lot. Go to the club. Wake up with a few thousand dollars in your pocket. Panic. 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 You're going to call me and sell me some more of that publishing, ain't you, kid? Here, come get another 20. Nigga, they spent $20,000 on a belt buckle. Motherfucker, that ain't no money, but you will sign away your whole life. Call all your homies, throw a party. We got to do better. We got to own some shit, my nigga, and stop letting these motherfuckers. And listen, don't think that niggas don't know WAC 100, the battery been put in your back by E1. You feel me? Or whoever, you know, whoever you got, whoever dick you sucking over there at E1. Tell them be safe when they walking out to their car out there in New York. We got niggas out there too, my nigga. And we just want to talk to them. We just want to talk to them. We just want to talk to you, brother. We on some peaceful shit. We ain't violent people. You know what I mean? The conversation might be violent. You feel me? You may perceive the conversation to be violent, but it won't be physically violent, you know what I mean, it won't be physically violent, if that makes sense, but the conversation will definitely be harsh, you know what I'm saying, and niggas are serious about it, and, and you know, it ain't hard to respect the nigga, you know what I mean, and mind your motherfucking business, man, and stop, you know, we just want some answers, man. Niggas just want to talk, man. Could we talk? Could we set up a meeting somewhere, WAC 100? Would you show up? How many? I bet you I could, I could have more niggas there that I don't have to pay that actually love me than niggas that could fake act like they fuck with you that you could have show up. Can we set a meeting up? Can we talk? So we could put this shit to bed, my nigga. And if you feel it in your heart that you and I Need to leave all our soldiers wherever they at, go in the motherfucking back wherever, and uh, talk just you and I. Then I think it's time to do that, my nigga, because you, we we want to see what you really made of. Niggas only seen you uh sock out stitches, and I'm good with my hands. It's a fact. You feel me? Uh, yeah, I've been I've been trained for mine. You feel me? And I ain't, I don't, you know, and that's all I'm going to say. So can we talk, you know what I'm saying? And let the world see what you made of, my nigga. You feel me? I ain't nothing but, I'm 5'9", you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we in the same, you know what I'm saying? Can we holler? Let's holler. I got a, a solution for them craters on your face. I got some proactive for you. I drank a whole pint of Hennessy last night to myself. Got a lot of piss in me. I want to find out where your brother's grave is. I want to go piss on your brother's grave. No homo. Since you trying to, I mean, you know, I want to hit your mama in the ass with a dildo. And take Polaroid pictures and shake it like Andre 3000. Shake it. Just shake it. Shake it. Yeah, <sighs> nigga, I heard your little son just bought a Birkin bag, <sighs> that nigga keeps Skittles in it and just like to swing it and hit motherfuckers with it, 
Can we talk? I even heard when motherfuckers put up the fake post that I died, that you put up a post laughing, talking about tell the homie to call me. <coughs> well, you got me blocked. <laughs> but here's a call. I know all the bloggers going to post this. Can we talk? I'm alive and well, nigga. And I love to kick skin off your forehead, if need be. No, it has to be a need be. What's wrong with that? It has to be a need be. Oh, shit. Man, baby, here, hold on. Yep. Huh? Yeah. Hold on. I gotta put this out. Yeah. Hey, look. Y'all hear what? Y'all hear what the fam come in banging? Oh yeah. well. Tell them what you playing, Brad. Okay, you can take my phone, Playroom. Playroom. Hey. Play, play, playroom. Hey. Niggas on some sucker shit. Hey. Got a nigga ducking quick. Hey. Okay, go in Playroom. You can take it. Hey. My phone with you. Go ahead. Hey. Alright, guys. How was hey. breakfast? Good. Good? Yeah. You guys dropped the pampers off? Daddy, I beat Papa and Mama on Tic Tac too. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, look, check this out. We just want to talk. That song was so appropriate. My son, my, son, my three-year-old came in knocking it. She slipped you the tongue? Attacked me from the side. Oh, got it. Okay, guys, please go in the playroom. Take garlic in there. Take that gar don't they're gonna split the garlic open. Get that from them. Go ahead. Go in the playroom. Hey look, make sure y'all go check out how it really happened. You know what I'm saying? Go search Gonzo TV on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Go search Gonzo on Spotify. Make sure you like and subscribe everything. Fuck with a real nigga or stuff a dildo in your motherfucking bunghole, nigga. You feel me? Like, that's what it is. Period, point blank. Niggas got to get it right, man. Niggas going to support all the... You know, and another thing, go support Soldier Boy, too. Fuck that, nigga. Go support Soldier Boy. If that nigga really got a console, if that nigga really got a console, I'm going to buy one. Today. Where I could go buy a Soldier Boy console at? Soldier Boy, call me, nigga. I need one of them consoles. Real shit. Support black owned shit, man. What? Why are you coming to shoot me? Give me this gun. Why? Because I don't like you guys playing with guns. I want Here. it. No. It's a fake gun. It's a fake gun? Yeah. Okay, great. That's good that you know. I love you. Go in your playroom. Hey, look. I might go on later, man. Make sure y'all go fuck with everything Gonzo, man. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. And listen, all you niggas that was waiting for the uh, uh, the car to crash, you lose, <laughs> nigga.